uh, at any point in time any of us could wake up and snap. We could, we could lose our ability to make good choices. We could lose our ability to think clearly. We could wake up and have a, a mental health issue. I do think that most of us, if we have any kind of community at all, would have a, a few more ledges to fall on before we actually ended up on the streets. Uh, but, but the fact is, it, it, could be any, it could be us, it could be you. We try and provide a very community-based atmosphere. When you walk in the doors of Gateway, there are no glass barriers between, or, or bars between us and our residents or our clients. We recognize that we're all equals in this place. We're all created in the image of God, and therefore none of us in this building are any better or any worse than anybody else. I mean, we, we, do, we provide the basic needs that people, people just require, like we have the three hot meals a day, we have the beds, and we have the shower facilities and all, all those kinds of things. We're serving at Gateway about 120,000 meals every single year. Uh, so that's, that's the most accessed program that we have. Second to that will be our case management, which again is uh, a very comprehensive team approach uh, and, and again, about about forty percent of the people who come here access the case management structure. And I think the third and most most important uh, importantly accessed uh, program will be our healthcare clinic, where people can come in. They don't need a health card. It's a non-threatening environment. They don't even need to be sick. They could be struggling with a mental health issue. They could be feeling depressed, or they could be just having some questions about. Uh, and they're feeling confused or whatever it is, they could come and just sit with our nurse or our doctor and just have a conversation about whatever it is they want, want to have. Sixty-five percent of the people actually who stay here are, are people who have been here for less than two weeks. Uh, they're just going through a short-term crisis and, and need some help getting back on their feet. Uh, Twenty-five percent of the people who are stay here are, are here from two weeks to a year. And uh, we do all we can to try and avoid, try and prevent those folks from becoming chronically homeless. And then 10% are those who, uh, who are chronically homeless, been homeless for more than a year. We recognize that it is the simple things that can lead to a transformation of someone's life and, and in return lead to a transformation of our own lives. Mm -hmm.